welcome to week nine of my minimalism challenge. This week we are talking about toiletries and the excess of toiletries that can so easily build up just because things are on offer or just because you think you need a new face wash when you already actually have one. Even if you think you don't have a lot of toiletries, it's always a good idea to check from time to time because sometimes things can be kept hold of for years and years and years and they actually expire, which a lot of people don't know. A lot of things you keep, like makeup and whatnot, you might think you might use one day, but they're not actually relevant to you anymore. Like that bright red lipstick you decided you loved a couple of years ago, you probably don't still love. And also, lipsticks have an expiration date of about 6 to 12 months after they've been opened. So your task this week is to gather everything, and I mean everything. So toiletries including shower gels, body lotions, bath salts nail polishes, makeup, skincare, fragrances, the lot. Now you've got everything collected up, I want you to pick up every single individual item and really decide if you still need it. So it's a fragrance, smell it. Do you still like that fragrance? Are you actually going to use it? If you say you've got six perfumes but you only use five of them, you don't want to waste it, look into either giving it away to someone you know that you know is going to like it or even, I always keep one in my car as an air freshener because I don't like to use it on my body, but it still smells nice. If it's things like nail polishes, take off whatever you've already got on your fingernails and sit there and paint them in the different colours. If you think you might like them, but you're not too sure, test it out and put it on your nails. You might decide you actually really like it still, in which case it can be kept. Same goes with makeup, things like foundations, you might have had like three or four different foundations, but only one or two of them actually match your skin tone. So sit there and try it out, put it on your face and just see how you like it, Do you like why don't you actually wear it, is it because of the consistency, is it that you don't like the way it goes on, does it not have enough coverage, all things like this should be thought about to see if you actually still need to keep them. Now the things you're getting rid of, don't necessarily just throw them all in the bin, ask friends and family, you might not want to sell secondhand makeup because I'm sure no one wants to use your secondhand makeup, but your friends might, they might have no issue with you using a lipstick once and then deciding you didn't like it, so give them away. If you really have to put them in the bin, then think about the casing, can it be recycled? A lipstick case can quite easily be recycled once you've taken out the inner lipstick. Now you've downsized all your products, you need to find a home for them. So this is going to be where they're going to be kept from now on. Every time you use them, they're going to go back into this same home and you're not going to put them anywhere else other than where they belong. While you're doing all this, you might as well have a complete cleanse and wherever you're going to put them back into, clean that out. If you have makeup brushes, clean those too. Make sure everything is new and fresh and you're more, probably more likely to use them all now. Thanks very much for watching and I hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a big like and a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And don't forget to hit subscribe so you don't miss the final week next week. Thanks very much for watching. Bye.